Well, that's a Lincoln Town Car. Just going off there, you can't see it so well. It dropped off some very important people. I didn't want to start photographing and filming because there was another official photographer there and they tend to get a bit shirty when, you, when they see that they, they've got competition from amateurs. <coughs> I've only got a Canon uh, EOS 600D and a Creative Vado. I don't have whatever it was. He, he probably had a cam camera with only two numbers after it instead of a bunch of numbers like I've got. Um, I understand that the cameras get more serious the shorter the names are. But, but like aeroplane flights, the really big routes like Warsaw, Beijing um, is, is a short flight name. Was, uh, it's just n 91 coming out to Beijing and 92 going back again. Whereas, uh, uh, like in Warsaw as well, the trams are more important than the buses. Um, they've got all double figure numbers, whereas the buses have all got three figure numbers. Even if it was the most important bus, it would still be a single figure number. They have a kind of logic to, to the way they've encoded it. So uh, that was all quite interesting, seeing that person get dropped off. But uh, it was also interesting to note that the Lincoln Town Car, which then reversed not so easily in a parking space, because it was very long, um, basically um, had yeah, a Communist Party and insignia on the on the front of it. So um, I just thought to myself, now is the time for all Lincoln town cars to come to the aid of the party. See, there's a subway there for going underneath it instead. I don't know whether that, that's um, worth going through. Whether there's any shops and things underneath it, like there were in the Ukraine. But, oh, I think it's green. It doesn't really matter by the looks of things. You know, I don't know what the green thing's there for, matey. Precisely. May as well not be green, really. There's, there's some pushing through between us anyway. So I can only imagine what it would be if it wasn't green. Well, I'm seeing more foreign faces today than I was yesterday. I saw, um, I started to see more as the day wore on. Um, and today, it's, uh, it seems, uh, I'm, maybe it's because I'm going more towards the central area. There's more and more as I'm going. You get all sorts, you get Africans here, um, you get uh, Indians hanging around and you get a lot of Australians, I've heard a lot of Australian accents um, and you get, uh, I suppose it's one of the closest places to them where there's actually a city. Um, and uh, what else? Have I seen? Yeah, lots of Americans and British. The old French person. And even here, for example, coming along, you've got two European style faces. Sport speaking Russian. So there was the either Russians or from the Russian speaking world. One can't always make assumptions that people are definitely Russian. They could be. Ukrainians who speak Russian or Belarusians who speak Russian. Alright, that was interesting as well. These nice telephone booths. I've taken a couple of close-up shots so maybe if you're interested look out for that one when they come up and uh, you can have a look at what it actually says on them if you're interested in that.
Okay, so heading due, uh, due west from the hotel, we just crossed the bridge. Come to this interesting rainbow, like an arch, like an arch almost um, going across the road with all the neon on it, little birds flying around underneath it. Um, and uh, starting to get a bit too dark for photos already, so that I took some while I could. Hope you enjoyed them. Um, it's you know, not touristy photos, which, um, you know, you'd go to a, one of these well-known landmarks and take a photo. I'm sure I'll probably end up doing that as well, but, uh, but uh, those are just supposed to capture normal life, what I'm seeing here, um, and remember that. If you want, you know, a rehash of the same things that are famous, then uh, the thing to do is watch TV because that goes on about those the same things over and over and over and over again, never going to anything different. Whereas, you know, here, yeah, actually going out and seeing what's out here, there's Tiananmen three kilometres now, which means I only, in theory, went. 1.5 from when I last saw it, although actually my, what does my thingy say on my pedometer? It says that I've gone three, but maybe it wasn't at the very beginning that I saw it. And since I haven't actually eaten anything today because I got up, you know, I was jet lagged, and of course because emails are coming through in the night for me, I stayed up and made sure that they were all answered. Didn't get to sleep till four o'clock, as a consequence of which, I'd had a very long day yesterday on like two hours sleep and I woke up at one o'clock and sure enough I went on emails again for a couple of hours but uh, having done all that I've now decided well you know I can't be not going out at all in the light of day I've got to have some daylight I can't turn myself into some kind of a you know night dwelling creature just because I've changed the time zone and I have to tonight I have to make sure that I go to bed rather early if it's possible after a pretty good night's sleep that I had you know you go out like a light on some of these hotel beds and you don't wake up and I wake up much more at home than I do in the hotel in some of these hotels you get a smashing night's sleep oh this interesting looking building there on that side. Don't know what those letters mean. They look as though part of them have fallen off, some of them, but I'm sure they haven't. But uh, probably just an old calligra calligraphic way that they've reproduced in metal. So it looks distinctly there's a, you know, even if there wasn't a downtowny flavour back there, which there was another post box. Um, Certainly, there will be, in a minute, I expect. So, having got to the situation where I'm not going to really be able to take much by way of photos, except with the flash, which I don't really like, um, I'll save this for when things are actually happening. And things are kind of happening because you're seeing life, but it's not quite necessarily the same thing. Coming back, I'd have to come back a different way. Either I'd come back down that end side of the street, or I would uh, come back probably a little bit further north of here and go through, try and find where those hutongs are. I still haven't found a hutong. Not one of the things that I could say, aha, yes, this is definitely a hutong things that I thought, well, are they, is it or isn't it a hutong? I'm not quite sure. So, uh, probably that means it isn't one, because they are supposed to be something special, so I have to probably wait and see what happens. This is rather dramatic, isn't it, this one here? Beijing International Hotel Convention Centre.
I'll, I'll turn it off for now, I think.